Where do the clouds go, baby? I don't know. Maybe they'll be back tomorrow. We will know. How many times do I have to tell you? Early in the morning, you're beautiful too. Aren't these glass cups so pretty? <gasps> oh, I have to show you guys what it looks like outside right now. I don't know if you can see. Can you see all the flurries? Good morning, you guys. Um, welcome to the start of another reading vlog. It's April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. The world really said April Fool's. Here is a full-on blizzard and snow in the first week of April. We were all bamboozled into thinking that it was springtime. It was such a plot twist filled day because I, first of all, tried to start vlogging and intro this video this morning while I was doing my hair, but I'm the worst multitasker I've ever met in my life. It was actually horrible. Oh my God. I just burnt myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I might have claws right now. <gasps> so I finished this morning A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namie. And I enjoyed it. It was really, really cute. It was a 3.5 out of 5 stars, I think I decided on. Um, just because I didn't fall in love with the story. Like I'm not obsessed with it. And I'm not obsessed with the couple even though they were super super cute and wholesome but i definitely loved the baking and cooking in this book that was definitely the highlight for me that and the fact that it takes place in england because as we know i want to go to england so badly i would give my left limb to read a book about an asian girl who gets shipped off to england and falls in love with that country um, so that i can self-insert i was the ghost writer for london boy by taylor swift i want to go to london so bad oh if you don't know it's about a girl named Leela, and she is from miami she comes from a cuban family and at the beginning of this book some horrible things happen her best friend leaves her her boyfriend breaks up with her and her abuela passes away and she is not having the best time and struggling so her family decides to ship her off to england and she ends up staying with a relative there who owns an inn and then she takes over the kitchen and just has fun adventures from there i thought that our love interest orion was so charming i love all of the random like historical knowledge he's like a superstition storytelling folktale fanatic we got to learn a lot about the history of buildings and stuff like that in england which is of course exactly my cup of tea every single time orion said i can make you a cuppa uh i just fell in love truly fell in love in other news um the kobo that i ordered a while back was supposed to come in this past monday i was so 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 excited but it hadn't even shipped until yesterday sadly it got delayed it's supposed to come next Friday. We're gonna stay optimistic. Yes, in fact, I am checking and trying to track my package on Amazon every waking second of the day. I do have some work to do, so I'm going to leave for now. Oh my gosh, one last thing before I go. My dad is getting tested for COVID as we speak because a co worker that he sits beside apparently got tested positive like yesterday. And so my mom and I have been trying to, you know, distance ourselves from him. We've been wearing masks around the house. Yeah, it's not for sure yet, but I really, really hope. Oh, I really, really hope that he does not have COVID. But yeah, I'm kind of nervous about that. So that is, that is what is going on as well. <laughs> Early in the morning, you're beautiful too. This is super random. So two of my favorite YouTubers, booktubers of all time is Kiara Foster and a little writer M. They started a podcast together called We're Spinning Plates and it's become one of my favorite podcasts to listen to. And this most recent episode that came out yesterday was a full Q&A and I had seen on their Instagram story, they put one of those question boxes so that you can submit your questions. And I submitted a question and it was featured in the podcast! <laughs> this is my final form. Know you, like you know me, you know that I know you. I know you, like you know me.
me, you know that I know you. Does the wind blow, baby? I don't know, but there is a place I can't tell you where for sure. Falling asleep to rain upon the roof, all of my dreams begin and end with you. Guys, I'm so confused. There's an Amazon Prime package. If this is, I swear to God, if this is, I'm gonna scream. If this is what I think it is. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> so confuzzled. Oh, and this is the case. Oh my. Guys, I am so shooketh. This is such a wonderful surprise. What the heck? This was supposed to come like next week and I have prepared my heart for waiting an entire week. <sighs> oh, I have skizzers right here. I don't know why I'm trying to. I'm about to, oh my gosh, why am I so excited? <laughs> what the heck? This is the one I ordered, the Kobo Clara HD. It is a six inch HD e-ink Carta screen with the Comfort Light Pro and Wi-Fi. I'm about to open her up. Reggie. Ah. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. I have ginormous hands, by the way, so I don't know if this is a good size comparison. I have really, really big hands. Let's take her out. Let's take her out. <gasps> Here she is. I was really worried about the size, especially in comparison to what I've grown used to reading on, which is an iPad. It's very, very, you can tell the size comparison, how small it is, but it's really nice. It fits in one hand like this. It's a nice weight to it. A lot lighter than the iPad, which is what I wanted. Here is the satisfying bit that everybody likes to do. Reggie. Oh, the satisfaction. Okay, wait, before I get started with her, I'll show you guys what comes with it here. We have the guide. Um, This thing that I never read, but like, wow, the print is really small and has a lot of languages in it. And then the charger. It is USB-C, I think. <laughs> She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Okay, well, she's got some smudges on her. Let me try to clean her up a little bit. Wow, it really looks like paper, like no cap, like it actually does. There's just the one button at the bottom, which is a power button, which it's telling me to press, so I'm gonna press it. <gasps> Something's happening. <gasps> it actually looks like paper. I'm actually, that's what I'm so shocked about. Okay, English. <gasps> Set up over Wi-Fi. What is happening? Okay, so we're back. We we had some trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi network, but I think that we're good now. It's taking me to this page, Rakuten Kobo, sign in. Do I have an account? Oh, I fit it into the case, by the way, if it's good. Okay, we're in, we're in. Oh my gosh, here we are. This is the home page as it comes. I don't have any books on here yet, so. My dreams begin and end with you I know you Like you know me, you know that I know you I know you Like you know me, you know that I know you Like you know me, you know that I know you Even in my sleep, I see you in my dreams Beauty so free, you're all I'll ever need how can I explain the way you make me feel? All that I can say is I know you Like you know me, you know that I know you I know 
you who, like you know me, you know that I know you. I know you who, like you know me, you know that I know you. I know you who, like you know me, you know that I know you. Dreams begin and end with you. I know you, like you know me. You know that I know you. I know you, like you know me. You know that I know you. Even in my sleep, I see you in my dreams. Beauty so free, you're all I'll ever need. How can I explain the way you make me feel? All that I can say is, I know you, like you know me. You know that I know you. I know you. Like you know me, you know that I know you. I know you. Like you know me, you know that I know you. I know you. Like you know me, you know that I know you. In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken, which is the third book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. And I honestly, okay, well, I reread the Darkest Minds a while ago randomly just because I missed the nostalgia of it. And I had never actually continued the series, so I read that and then I immediately read Never Fade. And then I did not immediately read in the afterlight, so I had some catching up to do. I am honestly having such a fun time, like this trilogy is such like a warm hug. I have really fond memories reading the first book for the first time and just becoming absolutely infatuated with Ruby and Liam's relationship. I remember it, they were one of the couples that I really, really felt strongly about back when I was, gosh, I don't even know when, high school, middle school even. That nostalgia really hits different. They are what keeps me coming back to the series. I love them so, so, so much. And yeah, they just, oh, I really like Ruby and Liam. And yeah, this is my Kobo. First time trying to read while I eat and it's super convenient. Look, I can hold it in one hand. It's so, so, so nice. And there's so much light coming through the window right now. And it does not glare at all. It looks like paper. Like I said, it's crazy. It's just a classic, like feel good YA dystopian trilogy. It's exactly what you would want from a series like this, like fast paced, Lots of good um, romance and like found family. That I am reading this week. I'm not sure I'll finish all of them.
Good morning, good morning. I'm just eating breakfast now. Oh my gosh, I just burned my throat. I am now just halfway done in the afterlight and hopefully I'll be able to finish it soon. Still fun as ever. We're getting some really good Ruby and Liam moments here and like that is my favorite part. Okay, sorry, I don't know if this is gonna mean anything to anyone who hasn't read the Darkest Minds series, but there is about to be <laughs> a confrontation between Liam and Ruby. I love a good confrontation scene between two angsty lovers. Oh my goodness. have my kobo with me and i am going for a walk to go down to the lake because the weather is so nice and it's golden hour it's like perfect spring weather which is crazy considering how this vlog started and the fact that we got a lot of snow and now you would never be able to tell like that's crazy i just watched kiara foster's I keep saying Kiara, I think her name is just Kira. <laughs> I watched her new vlog where she went outside and it really motivated me. And I looked out my window and it was so beautiful and I knew that I had to do it. So here we are. I checked and I am 86% of the way done in the afterlife. Um, so yeah, we're almost done and I kind of want to finish it today if I can. Hopefully this time it'll be a good shot of what the lake actually looks like because yeah for the last couple of times it's been like pretty wacky weather and i feel like it didn't do lake huron justice so i will show you guys Nothing beats the feeling of finishing a series finale that you just love. Um, I honestly didn't want it to end. My cheekbones hurt from smiling so much, especially that ending scene. Oh my gosh, it hits you right in the feels. Alexandra Bracken definitely knows what she is doing. I loved it so much. And I can't believe that I'm saying goodbye to the Darkest Minds trilogy after so many years. 
that is actually crazy and I have so many emotions and good memories attached to this series and I definitely have the urge to rewatch the movie adaptation solely because I'm in love with the actor who plays Liam <laughs> It was a fantastic, fantastic finale. Very satisfied. Really wrapped up all of the loose ends and brought a lot of good nostalgia back that really hits you in the feels. So definitely everything you want a finale of a series to do. I am going to end the vlog here. And yeah, it's been really fun vlogging these past few days. And oh, I really hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Cause I'm a shade of blue. Let's try. Go this is so not like riding a bike. Of all